Hi there, we're just going to look over a few of the features that will be used from a pupil's perspective over Zoom. Um, and we'll look at some of the things that your child may be asked to do while they're on the Zoom call by the teacher. So when you join the Zoom call, it's really important that we've got our videos on. We also need to be sure to connect to the computer audio. So when that pops up, you need to click join with computer audio. You can see that the box is in the bottom left hand corner for this. So join audio, and we just need to make sure we're fully connected so we can hear everything that's on there. Now, it may be that you, the teacher asks your pupil to use the chat box to respond to an answer or to ask a question. Now, when you are doing this, you need to be on chat and this will open up the chat box to the right. Here you can see it's set as to everyone, but there might be some circumstances where the teacher asks you to directly message them, perhaps with an answer or if there's extra questions that need to be asked. Now, you can also make use of the reactions tool, which is again along the bottom panel. Again, it could be that your teacher asks the pupil to raise their hand, which again can be shown with this little emoji here. Now, during the lesson, the teacher will be sharing screens and there are ways we can interact with that as pupils. So as you can see, it now says you are viewing teacher's screen. And with that, it opens up another box of options here. Now, as you can see, it gives you the option to annotate. Now the annotate function is very useful. From these options, this is the only one of those that the pupil will have to use. Now, once you've clicked annotate, it will open up this toolbar here. Again, that gives you the option to use text and it gives you the option to draw and stamp. As you can see on the next screen, we've used the text box. There may be situations where the teacher wants a child to type directly onto the screen. So this is fantastic for that. We then have an option to use the highlighter tool like so or the pen tool. There are different shapes that can be used. So again, you've got these options should your child need to use them. Obviously, it's only going to be needed if the teacher asks the pupil to. Again, you can see some examples of how we've used different annotations here. I hope this has been useful and clears up any of the issues that we might have with Zoom. Any further questions, please do get in touch.